okay this is the action in order for you to get out of the tropical revolving storm so first you need to identify which semicircle you are in now in navigable semicircle you can observe that the wind is backing and in a dangerous semicircle you can observe that the wind is veering but how can we understand how does the veering wind goes so, so you can see here we got an illustration if you are in the navigable semicircle it says the wind is backing it means the wind that you observe anywhere you are heading as the tropical revolving storm approach it going it will going to hit you counterclockwise first it will going to hit you 12 o'clock around 11 then it changed to 10 changed to 9 8 7 until 6 so if you are in a biggable semicircle you can observe that the wind is changing anywhere you are heading it will going to hit you first from 12 coming from 12 coming from one two three so on and so forth until six it is changing clockwise that's what you're going to remember beating now let's demonstrate for example this is our ship in order for you to identify where or which side or which semicircle you are as long as the tropical revolving storm approach and you are also transiting you can observe first it is coming from 12 or from the north then later on it it will going to hit you around coming from one o'clock then later on okay first it will going to hit you for coming from 12 o'clock then as the tropical revolving storm approach it will going to hit you coming from three o'clock then coming from a beam around four o'clock to six o'clock or to five o'clock until it is coming from six o'clock therefore the wind is veering it is changing clockwise and if you observe that the wind is backing as the low pressure area approach You will observe that the wind is coming first from 12 o'clock, around 10 to 9, 8, and then until 6 o'clock. Therefore, the wind is changing counterclockwise. It is stated that the wind is backing. Now, In order for you to understand the side of the tropical cyclone of the right of the direction of the movement of the storm in the northern hemisphere is called the dangerous hemicircle because it is where the wind are is stronger because the cyclones translation of the wind and rotational wind field are additive now, like on the opposite side, if you are here in the navigable semicircle, the opposite side is termed as navigable semicircle because this terminology originated in the days the sailing ships. It occurred naturally since the dangerous semicircle of the storm has the strongest wind and heaviest seas. A sailing ship on that side tends to be carried onto the path of the storm. If the storm curves, 
as the characteristic of the path of the storm, its center is likely to cross the ships running before the wind. So it is much more dangerous if you are in the dangerous semicircle because as the tropical revolving storm approaches, it will going to change direction. So it is very dangerous for the ship to maneuver. Okay, that's why it is called dangerous semicircle. Now let's talk about how to navigate or what is the action if we are in a navigable semicircle. So if we are in the navigable semicircle, for example, we are here and the tropical revolving storm is approaching, we need to proceed at the maximum practical speed. Then we need to alter our course as the wind backs, as you observe, it is changing counterclockwise. Keep the wind between one to four points of the, the starboard bow. So you need to put the wind on the starboard quarter, somewhere here. So one to four points on the starboard quarter. So our starboard quarter is here. So you need to alter course, then put the wind on the starboard quarter. Then continue as the tropical revolving storm. So still on the starboard quarter as it is approaching, then just continue. So you need to alter course to put the wind, alter course to put the wind in the starboard quarter. until you get out of the tropical revolving storm, okay? So that is the action when you are in navigable semicircle. Now let's talk about the action when you are in the dangerous semicircle. First, you need to identify if you are in the dangerous semicircle. Of course, the wind is beating. Again, bearing wind is the wind changing um, clockwise. So if you are in a dangerous semicircle, as the tropical revolving storm approaches, you need to put the wind. In order for you to put the wind, uh, one to four points on the starboard bow. So where is the one? to four points on your starboard bow. There you go. So you need to proceed at maximum practical speed and alter course in order for a wind beers, keeping the wind between one to four points of the starboard bow. So you need to alter course in order for you to put the wind here as the tropical revolving storm approach. Continue maintaining the wind on the starboard bow as the low pressure approach until you get out of the tropical revolving storm. So proceed at maximum practical speed. Okay. Hope you understand. Thank you very much.